celebrity and fame that keeps attracting these gospel artists, these contemporary Christian music artists to perform with secular worldly people. The latest example is Will Smith and Chandler Moore and Kurt Franklin. For those of you who don't know, Chandler Moore performs this group called Maverick City Music. I'm not that familiar with them, but I think they're pretty popular, some of the songs they sing. And obviously we know Kurt Franklin. So Will Smith, the one that I get accused of looking like a lot of times, is now back on his redemption tour. He's coming back from the slap heard around the world. He's coming back from the self-imposed exile for his behavior. He's coming back because you know Will Smith, he's big now. Bad Boys, his latest movie is doing well at the box office, and now he has a new song talking about how God brought him out of the trial. See, the problem is you have so many people that know to do right, but they have confusion. They are confused because they love celebrity, they love money so much. And the sad part about it is these Christian artists, these gospel artists are creating confusion because they are misrepresenting the message of Christianity. See, Paul writes for us to come out of the world and be separate, says the Lord. I'll be a father to you. He doesn't tell us to go into the world to be like the world. We are in the world, but we're not of the world. We don't take on their mannerism. He tells us all the time, do not be conformed to this world. But yet all these Christian artists love to be conformed to the world. And all that does, it creates confusion. These celebrity Christians create so much confusion for young Christians and old Christians alike because they have behavior that they excuse on trying to fish for people, on trying to spread the message. You're not spreading a message, man. All you're doing is just elevating your profile. Sunday service, what they pulling a Kanye, the BET Music Awards? Here's some video from Chandler Moore's background appearance at the BET Music Awards. See what this does, this creates confusion in the minds of a lot of Christians because it's the feel good Christianity, celebrity Christianity. It says that you can have one foot in the world and one foot in the church. It says that you can come to Jesus but not change at all. You can stay as you are. You can still dibble dabble. You can still slip and slide. You can still do what you were doing before but still love Jesus and call yourself a Christian. But see, that's not Christianity. See, everyone that came to Christ repented. Everybody, they changed from their previous behavior and took on new behavior. But in today's world, this, this new form of Christianity, there's no repentance involved at all. You just name the name of Jesus and say you are Christian and jump on a Christian artist, gospel artist soundtrack, and you expand your, see what's happening? Will Smith and the others, they're just expanding their audience base. And that's what these gospel artists want to do too. See, in reality, they just want to expand their audience base. That's what it's all about, just expanding your audience base. If it was really, really, really about singing the praises of God, you can go to a church and do that obscurely where nobody knows. You can do that. You can sing in the shower if you wanted to. Like for example, you have Hovey and Sierra. Sierra singing on this song with Hovey, Alter because she wanted to express how good God has been. Really? No, 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 no. You're just expanding your audience because as you start to diminish in popularity, you need a new audience. So I see the trick of what these people are doing. I'm not deceived. I know exactly what they're doing. They're expanding their audience. They want to appear less worldly. They want to appear as, see what happens is like, and take for example, people like Sierra. As she gets older, all those, all the things that I, she used to do doesn't work anymore. So therefore, you have to expand your audience base. So what do you do? You obviously go sing gospel. I would not be surprised if she doesn't come out with a gospel album in the next few years. Just mark my words. I will not be surprised. And Christians are so gullible. Why are Christians the most gullible people? You have countless examples of people that take Christians for granted. Kanye West, a prime example. Christian, I don't know why Christians have this inferiority complex, like what the world has is so much better than what we have. 
But yet I see these gospel artists, these Christian music artists on stage with these worldly secular performers all to expand their audience and become more legitimate. You think performing at the BET Music Awards make you legitimate? Ring leader. Kurt Franklin is the forerunner of this celebrity Christianity, this gospel music stuff. Kurt's been doing this stuff for almost 30 some years. He started with Salt from Salt and Pepper with Stump back in the day. So Kirk is a pro at this. I mean, Kirk is a vet at this thing. Kirk is the godfather of this stuff. A lot of those people in that audience grew up in church. So they know church-like behavior. They can clap, they can sing, they can dance, but that's all emotionalism, man. That's performance, that's performative. Unless you have a change in your heart, unless you are truly born again, stuff doesn't matter, man. But it's performative, it's easy to perform. And the black church is great at performing. I mean, we used to go to church all the time ready to put out. Will, you could call this a feel good song and not include any references to God or the church. Cause that's what it is, it's a feel good song. You feel redeemed, you coming back on stage, you have been through some tough times. So now you are getting back on top. So now God is good, I'm back on top. But don't include Christianity and don't include these gospel artists, but I know what you did, man. This legitimizes the message that you want to project, that you want to portray in this song. I get it, I get the marketing, I really do. Because what's gonna happen, you're gonna have a lot of Christians who want to listen to secular music, but they don't. And so therefore they're gonna go listen to this album, listen to this song, and purchase the song. For the last 20 years, I have not understood a word Kirk Franklin has said when he's on stage. I have, and what kind of shoes? Does Kirk have heels on? I hope there was a cow. Honestly, what Will just said there is no different than what you'll hear from a lot of mega churches and a lot of celebrity pastors. Honestly, what he just said there is no different than what a Joel Osteen would say or even a Stephen Furtick would say. There's no difference. And see, that's the problem because these celebrity Christians are just like the celebrity pastors. They all sound the same. You can make it feel good. You're going through the storm right now, but God is on your side. He'll bring you up. How about you put yourself in that situation? How about you change your behavior? Yes, God will bring you out, but he brings you out to clean you up. He doesn't bring you out so you can continue on your merry way and not change. But you won't hear that in a lot of these churches because they want you to feel good about yourself. And I want to feel good. I do. But I want to feel good legitimately. I want to feel good about how I'm living a life that's pleasing to God. That's what I want to feel good about. But, you know, these celebrity Christians and these celebrity pastors, this celebrity culture is polluting the message of the gospel is polluting the message of Christianity. It's creating another set of victims. And we're not victims. We are empowered for greatness.